Hello everyone and welcome to my review of set number 5904 and 3055. To start off we're going to have a look at 3055 which is in quite, rather quite tatty condition unfortunately but luckily this set is actually still sealed <laughs> and the thing you can do with these sets the bag is big enough is build the set while it's in the bag and as you can see I've done that here I actually had one of these actually probably about three of these were bought for me when I was little so I have quite a few of these grey uh, old car pieces on the front but this is just such a fun thing to do when you can actually build the set still in the bag in the box we have still have the original documentation or not documentation instructions teeny little instructions and we have a leaflet for oh, there we go Lego club or Lego Technic Club there and then the Lego World Club. I'm not actually sure what that is. I'm not I've not heard of that. Or I was possibly too young to know, to know about that. So that's all for what's inside that box. On the box itself, we have some alternate builders. Lego usually put on these kinds of sets, and these are obviously easy enough to follow yourself. So this, they're, they're rather quite easy to build. I'm not quite sure what that's meant to be, but you've got a little scenario thing. But yeah, that's, that's about it for three zero five five. This set was also actually released under a different number. I can't quite remember the number off my off the top of my head, but it was another five number, I think. Uh, it was rather odd. A lot of the Desert Adventurer sets were released under two numbers, and I'm not 100% sure why. I think it may have been due to country differences. Uh, so I think in, uh, say, America, it was released under the, the five numbers, and in, in Europe, it was released under the the three numbers. And there was I think there's three and two numbers for some of the Adventurer sets, because obviously this is a this has to be a European one, since it's got English documentation inside. Right, let's have a look at the second one. So here we have the other one, set number 5904, which is actually in perfect condition and still sealed. And I was debating whether or not to open this on camera, or open it at all really, but I have just, I've looked up and I've decided that there is, there is enough of these that I will not be hurting the population of sealed copies of this set if I open mine. And if anything, this I'm either not going to ever sell it, or it's just going to still going to be worth just as much open because I actually paid only about five for this, so five quid for a steel sealed set from the late '90s. Actually, this is from 2000. It's the uh, yeah, there we go, 2000, the Lego Group. This is from the Dino Island theme. So let us have an open. There we go. God, I've not opened a set like that for absolutely ages. I'm going to try and open it as carefully as I can just to sort of try and preserve the box quality as best as possible. There we go, and that's that gently done. Oh lord. <laughs> My whole set's moving. Come on, you. Light up. Alright, I promise I'm trying not to make this as bad as my Lego Island opening. Trust me, if you'd have seen the whole the whole opening video of that Lego Island game box, it would have taken freaking like half an hour. I swear to God, it took ages. Uh, not as clean as I hoped. The uh, this this bit of card has stuck to these a bit, but it's not too bad. Let's see if I can tear that up. I might. Yeah, I suppose I could just glue that back down there if I really wanted to. But here we go. Let's have a look. What is in here? I don't know what's in here, but oh, cool, how look. I have not had a brand new bag like this for so long. Oh, I have not had that piece yet either. That really nice little dino piece of uh, Johnny with the T Rex in the back and the volcano in the background. It's a nice piece to have. 
you know what this is actually big enough i reckon i could build this in the bag i will not try and do it on camera only because uh this sound is already very loud so i don't want to i don't want to just have five minutes of me crinkling the packet so let's have a look see what we've got inside oh, come on. there we go oh he got a big adventurer's pamphlet here oh, i saw the I saw a bit of pamphlet for the dino island set oh and we've got some star wars stuff on the back oh, oh, flip this over we've got a nice big poster of t-rex set number 5975 at the top there I actually want to eventually get all of these Dino Island sets because I, these sets were just so creative back then and it just seemed so fun. Here we have all of the others, all new for 2000 as you can see here. We've got 5920, uh, Baron von Baron's Island Racer. I do actually have that set, I've not done a review on it yet but that will be coming. 5934, unfortunately I did have that but had to sell it along with um, when I sold my 5988 uh, set which is the most expensive set from the desert theme and I've, I've really always wanted this because here we have these sort of these pieces these roof pieces with the rusty corrugated uh, metal tech uh, not texture sticker there we go I also got the uh, the set with the tan pterodactyl or Pteranodon, whichever you prefer. I've heard it called it either. We've got the nice little island hopper plane set. And I like these big dinosaurs as well that they had for these themes. These dinosaurs seem like there's, so, there's such detail in there, but they're basically all one big piece. There, were, there are a few pieces that come can come off the body, but see this really spiky one, for example, I completely forget what it's called. But um that is all that body is all one piece all this all the spikes are just from one molding which is really good right let's have a look at the other side oh on the other side oh we have we have adverts for lego racers and lego rock raiders on pc oh and friends and legoland all pc games it's the first time i've seen that and then we have lego.com adverts and we have some star wars in the middle and all the original uh, Boba Fett's Slave One on that side, and the Gungan Patrol on that side. Which I did actually have this set, and <laughs> it all went missing. I th I think I only had Jar Jar Binks left, and I sold him a little while ago. In the top, we have some. What are these? These are the knights. I can't remember. I can't quite remember the exact theme, but the the bulls and the lions uh, castle theme. I actually had one of the sets here. I think it was this top one here. This little catapult set I used to have. I think all I've got left of that set though are the... Um, I think I still have the minifig of that set actually, so I might have him in the video one day. Right, that is it for the paperwork inside the box. I'll try and fold this up nice and gently to keep it in as pristine condition as possible. And I will try and attempt to build the set in the bag and I will, and you'll, it will jump straight to that because I as I said I'm not gonna have not gonna uh, subject you to five minutes of intense crinkling from the packet so hang on a second and here it is completely built inside the bag not torn at all it wasn't very difficult and it would have been absolute complete just ear death if I'd have recorded the entire thing I mean just holding it and crack and it, listening to it crack was bad because when I was editing my Infomaniac review video me holding the Infomaniac in his pocket bag I could really hear the crackling so I apologize for the crackling in that video there's the one spare piece that's the little lens for the camera so this is just this is built exactly like it was in the instructions and I'll bring the other one in so it's quite a fun thing to do if you have the if you have these smaller sets, just um, just give it a little go to try and build them in the bag. I think obviously this wouldn't work with separately bagged sets, but I think smaller sets like this are, uh, do still come in one bag, so it is possible. I think still now, but 
It's just a nice, fun little thing to do. And there we have it. Sets number 5904 and 3055, both built, still in their bags. It's a great way to try and keep the set, well, still sealed. I mean, the box is open, but the set is still sealed. So it's kind of a fun thing. Imagine trying to, imagine selling one of these and opening that and finding what they have already been built. As always, all of my social stuff will be in the link in the description below, my Flickr account and my Instagram account. So feel free to check those out for projects that I've done. On my Flickr account at the moment, there are actually some pictures of the Lego Stunt Rally intro cars that have been completely built in uh, LDCAD, which is a really good Lego building program that's a bit better than Lego Digital Designer because it actually has th higher quality 3D models so you get to see the models in much higher quality like you won't see the wheels like made like they're obviously made of um straight lines and stuff like that so feel free to check those out and there are some more coming up so far i have built baron flambeau and sid vacant's cars coming up are um lucky's car lucky's monster truck and brad speedo's f1 car so they're going to be built within the next few days and uh, they'll be uploaded onto Flickr soon. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.